Welcome to Electron Online. Sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words. And here, pictorially, we're trying to impress upon you how the Hubble constant has changed over the years. Initially, back in the days of Hubble, when he was trying to figure out what was going on with the universe as every galaxy appeared to be moving away from us, the initial estimates of the Hubble constant varied anywhere between 400 and 600 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Then we had one measurement in the 1930s that dropped down between 200 and 300, but then until about 1950, no improvements were made on the estimation for the Hubble constant. The initial ones that happened in the early 1950s dropped it down to between 200 and 300, and then by the late 1950s, the first estimate below 200 kilometers per second per megaparsec came in. And then slowly the estimates began to migrate between 50 and 100, and since 1960, most, but not all, the estimates for the Hubble constant have been between 50 and 100 kilometers per second per megaparsec, with most of them between 60 and 80. Notice, though, that in 2004, one value came in at only 25 kilometers per second per megaparsec, and this was long after the Hubble had come back with all that great information. So they've always looked for different ways of trying to approach the the difficult quest in finding a more accurate value for the Hubble constant, and sometimes it just didn't pan out, although they were willing to publish their information because it's always good to understand what everybody did and how they came on there with their results. But you can see there has just been a sea of data coming in with all kinds of different estimates, most of them between 50 and 100, and you can see that it's still, even today, there's still a lot of values coming in that do not fall within the narrow range of the accepted values for the Hubble constant even today. But we're getting better, and what's changing is the uncertainty. So whenever you see something like that with these bars, that means that the uncertainty in the measurement says that it's no less than this, and no more than that, that it, it concentrates on this value right here, but they could be off by so much that it could be as high as 500 or as low as 150. So that's what these bars mean. What has changed in the early days is that the length of the bars has, has shortened, which means that they're not as uncertain about their measurements based upon what they've done. And so most of these bars are now plus or minus three, four, five kilometers per second per mega per sec, so that the ranges are getting smaller. And today, around 2020, the bars are getting quite narrow. So we're beginning to see estimates that are no more than plus or minus three or plus or minus five kilometers per second per megaparsec, which just means that our techniques are getting better and we're zooming in to that ultimate goal of finding an accurate value for the Hubble constant. But you can see it's a long way, it took us a long ways to get there. And that is how it's done. Well, definitely we have World War II, so that was probably had some effect on it. And probably the emphasis wasn't there after the rebuilding and all that until people had money again and started working on it again. So yeah, there probably was a period where, uh, and then of course we had the uh, Depression period, so that wasn't helping either. Yep. How come in that, the first one, the first long line, uh, around 1930s? Mm -hmm. Um, that just the way it came out. They said it could be as high as this and as low as this, depending upon all the estimation for the errors they could have made. No, not always. It doesn't have to be in the middle always. They say we believe that if you average everything out, that it's probably there, but it could be as low as this and it could be as high as that. It depends on the error, the, poss the possible errors they could have made. So it doesn't have to be in the middle, and typically it's not in the middle. Close to, but not exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good questions.